Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new Outlook for Windows app, also known as One Outlook. Not sure if they're going to keep that name or not. So this is going to replace Windows Mail eventually, I believe in 2024 sometimes. But if you want to try it now, you could easily do so. So once you open up Windows Mail, so I have this configured with three accounts, you should have this little slider here for try the new Outlook, and you might have this little guy here too as well. You just click on that, then it'll make the switch. Okay, so you might have to reconfigure your accounts here. So let's click on continue. So this probably will vary depending on if you're using Gmail or Yahoo or something like that. Okay, some other options here. They don't need to see any optional data as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so now we have our inbox here, and let's see what else we got. So we have our other one. It's kind of hard to see, but this is actually Yahoo. This is a Gmail, and this is a Gmail. So if you go up to the inbox, that we have all of our messages combined here. And we change the views. So we want to have the reading pane on the right, the bottom. I like to have it on the bottom. When you click on it, you could read the message below. So you can see this one was sent to Cindy. This one sent to Todd. And then if you want to just you know view them separately, you could see the inbox for each one right here. Now you can see when we're clicking on this next account for Yahoo, we're going to have to configure this as well. Give it permission. Okay, so now you can see the little icon disappeared there, so we'll probably have to do this one more time for this account. All right, so now we should have our inbox for each one here. And then we'll have our combined inbox up here. Okay, so you can see at the top here we have our navigation pane. We could hide. Uh, we could open up our Word and Outlook and PowerPoint online versions here. Our people. For all contacts or for each one. We have our calendar for each person here. And then we have our you know new typical icons here. And if we want to switch to the classic ribbon, we could do that. When we go back to mail, we should have some other options here. View settings. So these settings kind of look like the Outlook for the web type of settings. It's not going to have all the options that the real Outlook client has for uh, Microsoft Office 365. You can kind of see all the categories there. Then you could change your views here, message preview. And if you want to switch back to the simplified ribbon, you could do that. Other customized options here as well. And then when you do a new mail, you'll be able to pick which account you want to send it from if you have multiple accounts, just like you can with a regular Outlook. And you have a basic ribbon up there too, and you can switch to the classic ribbon for the new uh, mail messages as well. So let's open up the regular Outlook real quick here.
So the regular Outlook has a simplified ribbon as well, but you could switch it to the uh, classic ribbon, but you can see there's a lot more options in the uh, regular Outlook for the ribbon itself. So if we toggle back and forth here, we can see the difference between the home and then view. And help, you don't have any of these other menus here like the uh, send and receive and the folder and the file menu. And if you go to the regular Office 365 options here for Outlook, you can see you have a lot more options here compared to the settings here. Accounts, general mail, calendar, some of the same ones, but of course you have some additional ones in the real Outlook. And then of course if you want to go back to the Windows Mail, you could do this for now until the uh, Outlook for Windows replaces it completely. So that's just a quick overview of the new Outlook for Windows, also known as One Outlook, at least for now. I'm sure that'll probably change. So if you do want to check it out and you have multiple accounts, just keep in mind you'll probably have to configure each one as you click on them, and then you'll be able to try it out. And like I said, if you don't like it, just come back here, turn off the slider, and it should take you back to uh, Windows Mail. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.